It's Saturday, the 24th of March, 2024, and I've got Fire OS version 7.6.6.9, which is the version which has blocked ADB and lots of other stuff, including mouse toggle. But have a look at this. I have got a working version of mouse toggle. As you can see there, the status, it doesn't say started, but it does now. And there you go. There's my mouse moving around the screen. So how did I do this? Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. OK, so first of all, I should say that you do need to have an Android phone or tablet before you start this guide. Also, you need to ensure that ADB is turned on. So let's just go through the steps first of all. So go across to the settings cog over there, go down to My Fire TV, middle button, go into About, and then highlight the name of your Fire TV device. As you can see, mine is highlighted there, Fire TV Stick 4K Max. And just keep pressing the middle button very quickly on the remote control until you see at the bottom of the screen, no need, you're already a developer, then you can stop pushing the button. Press the back button once, and then go down to Developer Options, middle button, and make sure that ADB debugging is switched on. If it's switched off like mine is, middle button on the remote control, now, back button again once. This is very, very important. Go down to restart, middle button on the remote control. Go across to the second restart there on the left. Highlight that in white, middle button on the remote control. Let your Fire Stick restart. Now, restart in your stick or cube after you've turned ADB debugging on is very, very important because quite often it won't connect until after you've done a restart. So if you haven't restarted and you're having problems connecting in this next bit, then restart your stick. So next thing we want to do is we want to go to our phone or tablet, go to the Play Store, and we want to go up to the magnifying glass at the top of the screen where it says search apps and type in there remote ADB. And then what you should see is you should see this blue icon with a Wi-Fi symbol in it, remote ADB by Cameron Gutman. Tap install. There you go. Once you see open, it's now installed. So tap open. And then if you get this message up saying new key pair generated, then tap OK. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to find our IP address. So go across to the settings cog over there on the right and then go down and across to My Fire TV. Go into About again and then go down to Network. And there you go. Under IP address, you should see a set of numbers. Now, what you want to do is you want to tap on your phone or tablet where it says IP address or host name, tap into there, the keyboard comes up and you want to type whatever IP address is under IP address on your Fire Stick or Cube. So as you can see, mine, I've got 192.168.10.108. So I tap connect and then you should get this allow USB debugging, come up on your Fire Stick, go down to OK, middle button, and there we go, on the phone or tablet, you should now have a prompt. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go into mouse toggle and let's just see if it works. I'm just gonna tap the play pause button on the remote. No, it doesn't work. It's not allowing me. It says it's starting. And let's just give it a few seconds, see if it does start, but I don't think it is going to start. I think it's just going to hang. I'm, I'm just clicking or double pressing the play pause button. That's the button needed to activate mouse toggle. So no, no, that's not working at the moment. So what we need to do is we need to go back to our phone or tablet and we need to type here CD, that's C for Charlie, D for Delta, space, forward slash data, forward slash local forward slash tmp forward slash dot mouse toggle that's all in lowercase and no spaces so that's apart from where i've said spaces so that's cd space forward slash data forward slash local forward slash tmp forward slash dot mouse toggle then tap the tick in the bottom right hand corner of your keyboard. The next thing we want to do is we want to type 
full stop forward slash n mouse g space stop so that's full stop forward slash n mouse g space stop all in lowercase and only a space between mouse g and stop then press the tick in the bottom right hand corner of your on-screen keyboard the next thing we want to do is we want to then type a similar command and that command is full stop forward slash n mouse g space start okay and then once we've typed that then tap the tick in the bottom right hand corner of your on-screen keyboard and nothing will come up on here to say that it's accepted anything but what we're going to do now is we're just going to go back to the fire stick and I'm going to go back into mouse toggle. And as you can see there, again, it says starting. Now, if I tap the play pause button on the remote twice, as you can see, there we go. The mouse now appears. And as you can see there, the status is started. Now, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to go back to ADB Shell on here. Now, I haven't figured out a way of coming out of ADB Shell on here just yet. But if I do find out, I'll let you know in the description down below. Also, I should point out that unfortunately at the moment this won't survive a restart so if you do ever have to restart your fire stick or your fire tv cube then unfortunately you will have to issue these commands again to get mouse toggle working hopefully there'll be a better way of doing this soon but it was only a couple of days ago since uh, amazon shut this down so hopefully hopefully somebody will find a better way and if they do i will post this on my youtube channel so do make sure you've subscribed so that you hear about it when it comes out so what we're going to have to do to get out of adb shell on the phone or the tablet is let's just go back to the home screen on the phone or tablet and go into settings so i'm just going to swipe down from the top of the screen and then tap the cog and then i'm going to go into apps and notifications go into remote adb shell and then i'm going to have to full stop it so i'm going to tap full stop and then okay and go back to the main screen again now let's just have a look has that affected mouse toggle no it's still showing as started let's just double tap the play pause button to get the mouse up and there you go, no, the mouse has appeared. So there you go, I hope you like this video and if you found it useful, then please consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you wanna have a look through my Amazon store or you're looking for a new VPN, a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube or Fire Stick accessories, then have a look down below. We've got some great links down there for you. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might be interested in, then please share these on your social media timelines. And as I've said already, please don't forget to subscribe so that you hear about all my latest videos the second they're released. Also, if you want to contact me, then hit me up on Twitter or X as it's now known. That's at CWTEK. Or have a look at my website, which is CWTEK.co.uk.